What's happening guys? Eyes are checking in the realized dining room and in today's video I want to discuss ego lifting. why you shouldn't do it. Okay, so ego lifting is basically when you're lifting purely from your ego. When you're lifting purely just to please other people, to show off, to get that glory, right? And the biggest problem with, well, there's two big problems with it. The first one is you run the risk of injuring yourself, right? You run the risk of really fucking yourself up. And the second problem is that it gets you in this mindset of trying to uh, please other people or focus on external things instead of internal focus, focusing on your mission, your grind. The first problem, the injuries. When I started lifting, I used to stack on heaps of plates, especially on the squats because I was pretty strong. And um, I used to lift. And before I lifted all these plates, I used to check around the gym, right? Look around, see if everyone was watching. And once I knew that everyone was watching, I would kind of wait a bit. I would do my set then. And um, the feeling I got out of this was a bit addictive, right? When people are looking at you, like, oh, wow. And that's what fuels the ego lifting, right? It boosts your ego, having people giving their approval, right? People being impressed. So I did this frequently. And uh, it didn't take long for me to bust my knees up to um, have a knee injury. So this knee injury took me out of the game, took me out of squats for like at least a whole year. And I, rem I still remember to this day, the aching pain on my knee, especially when I'd sit down like what I'm doing right now. I'll have this terrible sharp pain in my knee that would just ache and ache and ache and would make it unbearable to sit down. And this went on for a whole year. I tried doing stretches, I tried strengthening my hamstring, I tried all kinds of things to fix this pain. It eventually went away, but for a whole year, I was sitting there with this pain, just thinking to myself, fuck was I stupid for trying to impress other people. The gain I got of that impressing of other people is nowhere near the pain I'm feeling over this whole year, right? So that's what you need to think of when you're ego lifting. What are you trying to gain out of this? The approval you're going to get from other people, is it worth the chance of you getting injured and not being able to do some of these exercises that you enjoy? Is it worth you being perhaps even wheelchair bounded or at worst dead? Some people actually die from ego lifting, right? Is it worth it? Fitness is a long term game. You think of it as a long term game, it's not a short term game. If you can't lift the weight, don't lift the weight. Build the strength up, be patient, and eventually you will be able to lift the weight. You want to be able to be in the gym grinding doing what you have to do until you're in your 80s, right? You want to be living this healthy lifestyle for a very long time. You don't want to just have this as a short-term fling and then you get injured and then you're one of those people that could have done this, could have been this way, but the injury stopped them, right? You don't want to be that guy or that girl. So that's the first reason not to ego lift. The second reason, as I said before, is it gets you feeding off other people's approval, which is dangerous, right? You need to focus on your own missions, your own goals, instead of feeding up other people's approvals. In the same way that people ego lift is kind of um, a parallel in the um, money world, when someone gets money, right? They win money or they start making a bit of money from their business or whatever it is, right? And they start buying flashy things. They start buying Lamborghinis. They start buying Gucci flip-flops. They want to live that lifestyle early. Now, they know they can't afford all these things, but... These things give off the appearance, they give off the facade that, um, you know, that they, these people, let me show if facade is the right word there, masquerade. It, give, it gives off the appearance that these people are rich when they really don't even have the money, the money, right, to uh, support this type of lifestyle. So they're doing themselves more harm. They're actually stabbing themselves with credit just to please other people in the same way as you in the gym are uh, hurting your body 
hurting your mindset just to please other people. So you need to be careful of that, right? You need to always be thinking about focusing on yourself. You don't want to get in this habit of trying to see what other people are doing. Just keep that razor sharp focus on yourself and your grind. And you'll feel better too when you get to that stage. When, you, when you're actually able to lift these heavy weights comfortably because you actually were patient and you build up the strength and it's no longer an ego lift, um, you, you'll feel good, right? You, you actually be impressed. And a good way to tell if you're ego lifting is to think to yourself, if no one was in the gym right now, if there were no cameras, nothing, it was just me, would I lift this weight? Would I continue with this? If you wouldn't, then you're probably ego lifting. You should stop. If you would, then you're not ego lifting. It's as simple as that. It's a simple test. And you know, you can't lie to yourself. And as I said before, once you are able to actually lift the weight comfortably without ego lifting, you feel so much better. It's in the same way as once you actually build a business up, it's lucrative, and then you can buy these um, nice things without having to hurt yourself with credit. You'll feel great. So patience is a virtue, guys. Don't ego lift. Focus on your grind, and you'll be far better for it. Anyway, that's the video for today. I'm going to be doing more gym videos because I realize I haven't really done or touched on a lot of these subjects, surprisingly, because I've been lifting for like over five years, and I haven't shared some of this you know, information I've gathered, which is a big part of self-improvement, right? It's a big part of self-actualization. It's not just the mind. It's mind, body, and spirit. It's all combined. Everything is joined. So more videos in the future. Um, as usual, if you have any requests, put them down below. I'm going to be doing a video a day. And yeah, until next time, guys. Peace. So, this is the end of the video. You must have really liked it if you got this far. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. If you liked it, please click subscribe and hit the post notifications because YouTube is doing this weird thing right now where if you subscribe, it doesn't even show you my videos. Very strange, very strange stuff. But yeah, click those post notifications. Well, good. Till next time.